Hey guys, it's Kilari and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm filming an updates video and sorry this is the best lighting I could find in my shed because it is really bright outside and right now I'm blinded because I'm standing with windows in front of me. And it's really hot in here because I had to shut the door so it wouldn't be too sunny. And I've resorted to standing up holding my phone out because everything else is terrible and it's like really hot and so I'm like really sweaty and it's high 80s outside. Um, so anyhow, there's a few different things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, the first is prints. So I told you how I was going to film a video about prints. So basically, we moved them to a different corral. Uh, you might have seen them moved in one of my barn vlogs. But we moved into a different corral because he was getting too attached to Mia and Ami. And when I would go to ride him and, you know, essentially take him away from the other two, he would start misbehaving and rearing. And we ruled out any pain. Um, we have had a vet look at him, a farrier, chiropractor, and there's no pain anywhere. It's just strictly a behavioral thing. So he got moved to a different corral all by himself. And I have there's stuff falling behind me. I have a professional coming out to ride him and work with him in probably a week or two. I will try to get some videos of that and my hand is already cramping in my poor arm. But um, <laughs> anyhow, um, right after I moved him over there, I rarely leave halters and lead ropes on corrals. I'll put them in a trunk and lock it. That way things don't walk away, you know what I mean? But since he was all the way over there, and for safety, I left one of my crappier lead ropes and halters out in set chain, and someone stole it. Yeah, fun stuff, being at a boarding bar. The first thing in, what, 12 years it's been stolen? And so I had to replace that. Oh, darn it. I just remembered I told you I would show you guys what it looked like in this video. Um, I'll probably insert a picture, like here, of him wearing it. Uh, anyhow, it also turns out someone stole a trailer tie out of my trailer, so you probably would have seen the replacement in my newest tack haul, and that's kind of it about Prince. Oh, he did get loose the other day. We don't really know how his gate was undone, so someone forgot to lock it, and I always lock everything, so it wasn't like me, so either the guys who clean the crowls or... Who knows, maybe he let himself out, we don't know, but he broke a water pipe and made a geyser and he got into some grain cans. He had fun and the next day he was kind of muscle sore, so he probably ran around because it was at night. Um, so sometime between late night check and early barn checks, he got loose and was found. So that was interesting and I am sweating bullets here. <laughs> it is so hot in here. Um, okay, second on the list. Ami. Okay, so Ami is back in shape. He's in good condition and my trainer and I have decided to enter him in the Galloway Is it the spring? HT? I don't know. It's over Mother's Day. So it's like May 10th through 12th or something like that. It's their spring HT. It's not their international one. It's the slightly smaller one. So I will be doing a show vlog of that when it comes around. We are doing training level again. And yeah, so it's really cool that he's finally back in shape. We haven't done an actual event since September of last year at Copper Meadows. Alright. Oh, I'm so tired. It's like really... Oh my god. Can you see the sweat? That's really gross. Sorry guys. Third thing is really exciting and I've known this for a while. and. Honestly, I just didn't think to tell you guys, and I've been watching so many other videos of YouTubers telling you guys of this secret, whatever you want to call it, and then I've been keeping it secret until I knew for sure, but guys, I'm going to Rolex. <laughs> like, I'm jumping up and down, yes. Um, so I was invited by my friend and our pony club trainer to go to Rolex. Uh, basically all I had to do was buy my ticket and pay for my food and my entry and that's it. Um, so my pony club trainer's sister lives in Lexington and so we get to stay at her house and she'll drive us around and we have free cross country tickets and whatnot from um, that she won in a drawing last year. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going with two of my really good friends 
uh, Carly and Erin and they both agreed that they don't mind being in a vlog. So I'm going to vlog the entire experience. We leave next, when, today's the 18th, we leave next Wednesday. So I think that's the 26th and then we come back on May 1st. So I know we're going one dressage day, one, or the only cross country day and the only stadium day. I don't know if we're going for both dressage days, but we plan on touring some of the thoroughbred farms, going to the museum, checking out the cross country course, doing some shopping, of course, um, and we might do some riding as well. And I think it'd be really fun and I'm gonna bring you guys along and I don't know if I have anything more to add. I'm not going to be doing too much of the touristy thing because I've already been to the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington and I've done all that really and I've done a lot of the, what do they call it, the horse farm tours. So it's just going to be really fun hanging out with friends and watching some world class riders. I'm really excited. Maybe I can meet up with some of you if you're going to be there and I think it'd be really cool and one last thing, so my videos tend to be really long. <laughs> if you guys have a problem with that, can you please let me know if they're too long or if they're okay? Because I know some people don't like watching long videos and if you'd rather have them shorter, I can definitely make them shorter. But yeah, I just want to make videos that you guys like watching. And I know my barn vlogs tend to be really long and I think that's because I have three horses to take care of, whereas most people only have one. So just, I'm so scatterbrained right now, I'm so sorry. I've already been to school and work and it's the end of the day and I'm literally sweating bullets. So <laughs> thank you for watching and I'm really excited to share my Rolex experience with you guys. And I will see you next time, bye.